Hey, Cal here. Uh, this is a somewhat of a short little video. Uh, up on my blog, I have basically written a short story on some of the backstory of the Swamp Breakers, as well as the war that went on between the Swamp Breakers and the Silent Knights chapter, basically where the Silent Knights and the former chapter master of the Swamp Breakers decided to uh, try to gain power by the Chaos Gods. So, basically really it's just like a paragraph about the backstory of the Swamp Breakers, about how their successor chapter of the Salamanders, and as well as Jer it also involves Jeremy's army as well, the Dragon Hides, which are also a Swamp Breaker successor chapter. And it's it took me about five hours to write. Uh, basically, it's just about this war, which I have named the Androm Heretic War, which because I've given them, I've given the Swamp Breakers a homeworld, a name for a homeworld, and a name to system that I have come up with. Uh, completely extension of what I know about everything in 40k. So I'm just basically fitting my army in there in the 40k universe. And it's quite, actually quite a long article, and I plan on putting it in a section where you can easily get to it. Uh, it also involves putting names to some of my models, such as Chapter Master Kyle, obviously my Chapter Master, Master of the Forge James, which is actually named after my real life brother, uh, my real life older stepbrother. Uh, I basically decided to drop the name of the librarian and make it the master, make him the master of the forge, and it kind of fits because in the story, uh, the master of the forge is always referred, basically refers to to chapter master Kyle twice, of him being of them being actual birth brothers, because basically when they're getting transmission, uh, the master of the forge raises his hand, and he's like, "Sorry, bro." I think we. I, I figured we need. I figured we need backup. And then later on, when he's doing a roll call, basically sending out a signal for a roll call, the, the master of the forge says, "I'm here, little brother." So I think it's kind of like a. It's interesting. Uh, I've named my tech marine Zell, uh, spelled T Z E L, pronounced as Zell or Zell. Sort of a weird thing. It's one of the names I've had just randomly came up with. That's just for the Tech Marine. Uh, the former chapter master of the Swamp Breakers is actually his name is Zach, spelled Z A K, and he's basically the little Nurgle Terminator. And it's basically it's fairly gruesome battle actually. It's basically the Silent Knights uh, fabricating basically. You just, you just have to read it to really understand it. And Zar, which is actually the certain currently, he was the chapter master of the Silent Knights. Now, since they're a warband, he's a, the Chaos Lord of the Silent Knights. And there's actually a little fight in in here between the two, and it actually it's kind of interesting, and also kind of funny because Zar's like, "Stop moving, stay still." And Kyle turns around and sort of like a like a childish kind of thing. He's like, catch me if you can, and flies away. <laughs> I thought, it's kind of a little funny comic relief kind of thing. But uh, basically, it, it sort of uh, leads up to where my army is at now, to where there are basically only three companies, less than 150 Marines in the entire chapter. So they're very small, very small. Because they lost, they had so many casualties during the Androm Heretic War. You'll have to read it on my blog. It's fluff. It's a lot of fluff. Oh, excuse me. Just ate dinner. And, uh, this is really, a really interesting little thing. It's sort of what I think would have happened with them. And yes, it does. Uh, there is there's quite a few references to some other armies, such as the Swamp Breakers, the Grey Knights, uh, the White Scars, 
but there are no actual names. It's just, like no names of anybody in those. It's just the the Silent Nights are successor chapters of the, the White Scars, but they're completely different in many ways. You know, they have no bikes. They're not like hit and run. They're just more of mechanized kind of deal, or rhino heavy, and uh, kind of something like that. So are the Swamp Breakers, their Salamander successor. Although, it's sort of like, oh, 500 years before the, 40, before the 40th millennium ends. Basically 500 years before the, the 41st millennium. The, swa the Salamanders secretly sort of decided to create a few successor chapters because, just for unknown reasons, and there was in my story it said that there were many of them maybe five or six which is I know it's kind of inaccurate but I'm just sort of going with it and there are very few that actually say they are successors of the salamanders which that's the dragon hides and the swamp breakers Jeremy's army and my army yet they don't really say it it's just those are the only two that are known or suspected and the Swamp Breakers are actually very similar to the Salamanders because they do have a, lo a large number of tech marines because after the Androm Heretic War uh, during the rebuilding of the city because the city got blown up by a plasma explosion which will also the reason for that will be in, in the story and the number of tech marines rose to maybe 20 or 30 uh, basically there's an entire the first company gets refounded into a tech marine company led by the master of the forge so it's basically nothing but tech marines and tanks uh... the third the second company is just a troop company they don't there's no real herald, uh, heraldic colors uh... for the second company the first company is just nothing but tech marines and tanks the second company is just troops really and then the third company is basically the fast attack company that also has, that basically has all the bikes and the land speeders. Well, a few land speeders. Basically, my generic land speeder, my Typhoon, is in, is in the White Knuckles. Or should it be in the White Knuckles? I don't know, I'll figure that all out. I'll have more fluff stuff up, stuff up. I'll have blogs, more bl of the more fluff stuff on my blog eventually and I'll have it all sectioned off in the link and a few links uh, when I saw once I figure it out and uh, basically the first company is a tech marine company led by the master of the forge the second company is just a troop company led by a currently unnamed uh, captain and the third company is the white knuckle company that has majority of bikes and the captain is actually the sergeant in one of my in my bikes. I'm just sort of well, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Let's just say the captain is unnamed for the third company, and that's the, all the companies. Then there's the command company, which really is just the chapter master and the honor guard. So, you know, they're very small. They're less than maybe a hundred a hundred strong, but they've learned to to take advantage of what they have and they're very cautious in what they do because they they have a lower number of recruits they get recruits on a regular basis it's just a very low number of recruits so and they might actually have a scout company I might make a fourth company a scout company or a recruit company just a scout company because they they have a, their their number their number of scouts are so small they're normally attached to one of the three or the second or third company. Normally, the first company, then they're moved to the second company, the third company, then they they choose what they want to do. And then I might expand companies, but still, it's going to be very low numbers. So basically, all the tanks are in the first company. All the vehicles, all the tanks, pretty much everything that has armor value is in the first company. The second company is nothing but infantry, including assault squads and everything. And then the third company is the fast attack, which is basically nothing but bikes. Um, that's pretty much it. They used to be seven companies strong, but during the Androm Heretic War, 
all of them who died. It was that brutal of a war. That that five, well actually six, six, no, five died. But then one company was dropped because the cap, the captain was had to, one of the surviving captains had to be plugged into a dreadnought. So yeah, five died, one survived, but one company was dropped because there, there was nothing left. And I think one company, eighty something percent, was dead as casualties, and then another one was like ninety five percent dead. So they just merged it into the second company, and they're still pushing forward. So that's pretty much the fluff on that. You'll have to read the the story in there. It's kind of shaky, but you know, it paints a picture. Anyways, this is Kyle X five six six five signing out. I will have some actual videos of miniatures soon. I have all my chaos stuff primed up. I have to sort of fix up my lord because the little torn up torso for some reason it got really, 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 really thick. Basically, there was like a big glob on the chest. So I'm gonna have to fix that up. I have it so I ripped it off and I'm soaking it. Now I'm just gonna prime it back up and glue it back on. So I'm gonna be painting. I gotta get the dark elf stuff painted and imperial guard stuff painted. Then I'm gonna paint my chaos marines. So yeah, I'm gonna be busy. I'll also have videos of that eventually. So anyways, this is Kyle X Pi665 signing out. And check out my story on my blog. Down there or down there, whatever you're doing this. Bye bye.